Und in dem Moment zieht er nochmal nach. Da. Boxing's rich history is full of epic fights that were toe-to-toe -to -toe brawls that went the distance and provided spectators with a full 10 to 12 rounds of excitement. There is one thing, however, that may please the crowd more than anything else, and that is a devastating knockout that ends a fight in a horrible manner. Without further ado, here are the most terrifying knockouts in boxing. In October 2009, Abraham defeated Taylor via a devastating knockout in the 12th round. With only seconds remaining in the fight, Abraham landed a powerful straight right that pierced Taylor's gloves and put him out cold. Taylor was hospitalized with a severe concussion, suffering short-term memory loss, unable to remember details of this fight. This is round one. We are scheduled. In May 2016, Murat put the cruiserweight division on notice when he scored a devastating one-punch knockout victory. Toward the end of the first round, the Russian unloaded a vicious left hook that connected to Jordan's chin, dropping him flat onto the canvas. Moving on to range. Big shot that drops Welcome back. It shook his hand. Great sportsmanship. Yes. As the old saying goes, it only takes one punch. When dealing with the big men in boxing, it was proved to be very true. When Latvian heavyweight delivered a perfectly timed right uppercut followed by a glancing left hand that sent Shar towards the ropes, who was clearly out before he even hit the canvas. One of the greatest boxing knockouts was recorded in this fight as it became the 2007 ESPN Knockout of the Year. During the fight, Wilson knocked down his opponent in the third and tenth rounds before delivering what he promised in the eleventh round. Wilson cornered Emmanuel and dropped a mighty left hook to his chin that sent him crashing to the canvas. Touch him up. Thank you. Fight started with both fighters standing toe to toe and landing hard shots. In the sixth round, however, Jefferson dropped Harris with a series of body shots. Near the end of the round, Jefferson countered a left hand with a left hook of his own, knocking Harris unconscious. This punch won Ring Magazine's Knockout of the Year, and frankly, is one of the greatest one-punch knockouts. Good night, Maureen. All right, you men receive my instruction. Obey my punch of both. Let's go, man. Let's go. In January 2016, Deontay Wilder retained his heavyweight title with a vicious knockout in a competitive, entertaining fight in Brooklyn. In the first three rounds, Archer appeared to be in good condition. His quick moves and sliding blows looked fantastic. In the ninth round, the Polish boxer switched tactics and attempted to make a move, but Wilder landed a powerful right that put him flat on his back. Archer was down for a couple of minutes after the knockout and was taken out on a stretcher for his own safety, but was responsive and had set up before he was taken from the ring too. In just 30 seconds and before the fans had even gotten comfortable in their seats, Tyson destroyed the son of former heavyweight champion Joe Frazier. Tyson dragged Frazier to the corner and fired a sequence of blows and a devastating uppercut that sent Frazier to his knees. Uppercut and Marvis is hurt. Frazier is down. Joe Cortez moves in. Tyson's 30-second victory was the quickest of his professional career. Badly hurt at this point. Uppercut again. And there, Marvis is out on his feet. All right, gentlemen, obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now. Let's get to it.
After a slow start to the first round of the fight, Jones delivered a quick jab followed by an overhand right to his opponent's head. Serrano was knocked down instantly by Jones' perfectly timed punch. which was described as the hardest punch of his career. When the camera zoomed in on Serrano's face, his expression conveyed the story. It was almost as if his eyes screamed, what on earth was that? He is the one who ends up getting knocked out, and I mean much earlier than some people thought. Buena suerte, good luck. Davis made a real statement by becoming the first man in 40 fights to stop four-weight world champion Santa Cruz up to the six. The fight had been relatively even, but with just 23 seconds left in the round, Davis landed a devastating uppercut that left Santa Cruz out cold. a seasoned trainer early on and using trial and error. To try In February 2006, Calvin Brock faced Zuri Lawrence on the undercard of the fight between Shane Mosley and Fernando Vargas. At the end of the sixth round, Brock caught Lawrence with a left hook that he never saw coming as it connected flush with the side of his face. Lawrence was unconscious for a few minutes, while doctors administered oxygen in a frightening scene, but he eventually came around and got to his feet. This knockout was named the Ring Magazine Knockout of the Year for 2006. Right there, he's out. Lineal middleweight champion Sergio Martinez scores the biggest knockout of 2010 when he knocks Paul Williams in two rounds. After some back and forth action in the first round, Martinez drops Williams onto his face with a powerful left hand early in the second round. Good left hand, oh. and down goes right. Williams! Williams had never been stopped before, yet he didn't move a muscle as he was counted out. Williams as a man was so much on the attack and aggression that he didn't even expect I'll see the fight. my command at all times. Touch up and good luck to both of you. In February 2000, Arturo Gotti met Joey Camachi in a solid matchup on paper. That turned out to be a slaughter. Gotti, clearly the bigger man, took control of the fight in the second round, landing a series of powerful punches that caused his opponent to wobble. Moments later, the decisive combination landed that would change Joey's life. The knockout would leave him fighting for his life hospitalized for a week after sustaining a brain injury. Right uppercut, and you see why we were worried about Joey Gamash. In 1995, Vincent Petway fought against Simon Brown, perhaps his best known performance in which he knocked Brown out in the sixth round. This was a wild back and forth fight that saw both men dropped entering round six. Then the unexpected outcome happened as Petway hit Brown with a lethal left hook that not only placed him on his back but also sent him falling down hard so that Brown continued to throw punches up into the air while unconscious. Seen it yet. Oh, this is a foul fest now. Oh, Of jabs as you look at the tail of the tape. In May 1981, these two heavyweight giants, who were at completely different stages of their respective careers, met at Madison Square Garden in New York. What followed proved to be disturbingly memorable. Cooney rushed out, stunning Norton with a right punch to the head, and then going to work on a helpless target in a terrifying manner. The referee was far too slow in diving in, allowing a vulnerable Norton to take hard, damaging shots to the head. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new uploads.